If you're a serious student, you inevitably get to the point where you're asking questions like, how can I play better chords or my chords better? It's probably very early on in your journey that you learn to get a bigger harmonic sound by adding chord extensions. In fact, you probably learned that before really mastering your triads. And the students that are more seasoned know that there are levels to this. And if you put an average person in a master chef's kitchen, that doesn't give you gourmet by default. One of the things I see with many clients is they still play their seventh chords like this. This is fine, it has its place, sometimes it's exactly what you need, but you're living under a rock if that's your go-to C major 7. First of all, I hope to God you've at least been shedding these inversions. That's at least one step towards the light. Now, I'll tell you what I have to tell most people that come to me. Here you go, it's like a free first session, and that's harmonizing from the third, which is a simple idea that can take you pretty far in one go. You'll notice at the top of your C major seven, there's an E minor triad there. Use that. Right away, you can invert this triad and you get these super useful structures called drop voicings. And before long, you'll figure, hey, why not an E minor seven? You'll get a nice C major nine structure and you can flip those rudimentary seventh chord inversions over the top. If you're real clever, you might have even thought to try the drop voicings of the E minor seven over the C for these big, beautiful chords, and you've already more than tripled your vocabulary because all of this applies to more than just major chords. And this is still all really just scratching the bottom end of what I would call the intermediate level. 